What's up everyone? Here to do Hunter x Hunter 126 and I finally had to do a review again just because I have a little bit of extra time now and I can actually start making reviews but anyways this week's episode oh my gosh it, it was really well done like it was really well done and I must say just because I haven't made reviews in a while I'm not gonna lie for a second I really didn't like where this arc was going I I just really didn't and honestly a couple of events that happened like the whole thing with UP and Knuckle I didn't know how I felt about that um there was a whole thing with she poof also I, I wasn't too sure about that and how I felt but um anyways this was definitely by far one of the best moments so far in the Hunter x Hunter series just seeing their fight and just seeing Natero pretty much struggled by just barely scratching this guy and or to barely scratch him so yeah it was very interesting I <laughs> freaking loved it um I really don't know what else to say just because it was such a good episode and it's definitely probably my favorite episode so far 2014 in anime but um, there is one that's close to it which I will say Magi is pretty close but I don't know just because of how deep the characters are but anyways I'm gonna get into the review though. So the episode starts off with King and Natero just going at it and Natero's just pushing him off and the king just obviously keeps on attacking and as he's attacking Natero um he starts to notice that he can like sense his emotions and the only thing he can see is his after image but he can see his admiration or I'm sorry he can see his resolve and he's feeling some sort of admiration towards him and he thinks about it and he pretty much calls out how Natero got his ability and he said at one point he was on the brink of madness and after Natero gives him a pretty nice attack the king just walks out unscathed and he disrespectfully praises him like what he did was nothing and that's when Natero says that an insect should never look down on a human and he starts to attack and he notices the king switches up a little bit and he changes his attack pattern and he's like bouncing around everywhere and he's just going to keep constantly attacking. He's thinking of it in a similar way as you would play Gunji because eventually if you try enough combinations, you're going to run out of options or you're going to be biased towards certain moves and he can predict his pattern. So... Natero is talking in his head or his inner dialogue just saying that um, he knows what the king is thinking that eventually he will break down and he won't be able to attack him but Natero says that he has a trick up his sleeve called the zero hand which we obviously find out what that is but um, the king is actually starting to feel a dull pain and that's when he finally gets Natero's right leg and after immediately after the king says you've done well for a human and he praises him saying he sees his admiration but Natero says don't make me laugh we're just getting started and that's uh, when he, uh, the king also says that it was inevitable to get his leg and he's going to take his right arm next and because he's learned the art of anticipation so that's when Natero says this is his last attack and they start going at it and the narrator says they throw something like a thousand punches and they said that the fight only lasted a minute after and there was obviously a lot that went on after so this was pretty fast but <clears throat> the king actually gets his left arm and finally is finding flaws in the tarot and right after he takes his arm he just sits down and says is that enough have you had enough tell me my name and that's when the tarot says that you don't think that i can pray with one hand and that's when he breaks out his trump card zero hand that appears behind the enemy and he put all of his aura into this one blast of light and that's what Kiwa actually sensed. So after doing all of this, 
Natero <laughs> just turns into an old man because he is like older than 115 or something like that. So yeah, it was just um, <laughs> definitely interesting that he would do that so easily. But man, I'd have to say I was so surprised that he was so unscathed. Like I feel like the king was somewhat hurt, but like not really. Like there were no fatal injuries or anything like that. So. He never even stood a chance, it seemed like. But after that, the king just goes on his little rant talking about he was born to be king. He's just a human. That's the limit to an individual strength. But he does um, show him respect by telling him that was a really nice attack and stuff. But, man, then you have the main <laughs> fruits of the episode. Natero just laugh. Or he, or <laughs> Natero, or Natero actually finally tells Miriam his name and he just tells him that he doesn't know anything about humans and their strength is infinite and he just lets off this aura that man has him frightened and like he said we actually saw the king with fear in his face for the first time ever so it was definitely interesting and I have to say this is probably one of my favorite deaths that I've seen so far in animation like it was just so well done he went out like a boss <laughs> I just have to say it was really well done I like how they did it and I also uh, like that it seemed like they fit a few chapters into the episode because this fight it was a lot faster than what I thought it was going to be I'm not going to lie but it was over pretty quickly and yeah that's all I have let me know what you guys think because I obviously thought it was a pretty good episode but yeah anyways that's all I have and thanks